Okay, so today we will do a tutorial on chapter 2, question number 6 with me, Madam Shahida. In a 100 meter race, a runner P accelerating uniformly takes 2 seconds and another runner Q 2.5 seconds to reach their maximum speed, which they each maintain for the rest of the race. They cross the finish line simultaneously, both setting a time of 12 seconds. Okay, so if we look at this diagram, okay, the, uh, let's say we have to correct the number P, episode P, and a runner Q. So both uh, this runner are in the race of S is 100 meter. So here it say in 100 meter race. And both of them are crossed simultaneously line at 12 seconds. So they, both of them uh, reach the final, uh, the finish line at 12 seconds. Okay, but the P, runner P, accelerating uniformly take 2 seconds while another runner Q 2.5 seconds before they maintain the race of uh, the maintain the for the rest of the race. So what we can say here, okay, so let's say this is runner P. So it takes from here to here, it has acceleration the unknown and the time taken to reach the maximum speed to find to reach maximum speed is 2 seconds while for the runner Q from here until here from the starting point lah, to here the acceleration to reach Vmax this is for P this is for Q the time taken here is 2.5 seconds so from other than that they maintain until the finish point lah, they maintain the same Velocity. Okay, so the first question they ask you to find the maximum speed of P and Q. So we want to find the V max and V max Q here. P and Q. Alright, so what we need to do here now, we have two conditions. One, P and Q with acceleration, unknown acceleration. Another one from here, the line green here, the acceleration here is zero. Why is zero? Because they maintain the speed. So there are no acceleration. Okay, so how we will do this? The best way is using graph. Okay, so let's say I will want to plot graph for P. So I, because we only have uh, information on V. So MS negative 1 and T second. Okay, so we only know the value for time. So the value for time we know for P is 2 second and it reach the finish line is 12 second. And since it starts from 0 to 2 seconds, it's accelerating. So that my graph is here. And then after 2 seconds, it's maintaining. So this is the Vmax that I want to find. Lah. So what we need to do now, okay. What do we have that? You, we understand that the S here is 100, right? The total di uh, displacement is 100. So area under the graph. Uh, area under the graph, we will get displacement. Area under the graph. We will get displacement. So from there, we use the formula area under the graph. So S equals to area under graph. Okay, so my area under the graph, we already get 100. So my uh, area under the graph here is because this is trapezium. So we can use half times with 12 plus 12 here. Plus 10, because uh, 12 minus this one is 10, right? So, plus 10 times with Vmax, because we want to find the Vmax. So, we can get the Vmax from here. So, if you use the calculator, so you will get your Vmax is 9.09 .09 ms negative 1. Uh, so, this is how you determine the Vmax. Okay, this is for number Alright, so how about Q? So again, we do a graph, we plot a graph. So this one is V, M, S, negative 1. So this is time. So the time that we already have is 0, 2.5 and 12 seconds. And we know that it accelerates from 0 to 2.5 seconds. And that is maintaining the velocity. So this is my V max. So again, we know that area under the graph here can be area under the graph we will get S and S is the same 100 meter. So by using the information here and by using the formula 
area under the graph s equals to area under the graph under the graph so 100 equals to half again this is trapezium so we can have 12 plus 9.5 times v max so why v max by using calculator i will get 9.30 and s max is 1 so that's the answer Alright, question number B, they ask you to find the acceleration for each runner. So, we have to uh, calculate for P. Okay, so we calculate for P. So, we use formula V equals to U plus AT. Okay, since we already have the V max, because they ask you to find the acceleration. So, acceleration is only happen at the time when 2 seconds and 2.5 seconds. So, for P, the acceleration only happen at 2 seconds. Okay, so we, we already have the Vmax that we calculate just now, 9.09. .09. U is 0 because the starting point is 0 plus A. A, the one that we want to find, the T, we take 2 seconds. Remember, the acceleration only happened from 0 to 2 seconds. Alright, so by using calculator, so A equals to 9.09 .09 divided by 2. So you get the answer 4.55 ms negative 2. Alright, so how about Q? Okay, Q. So Q also we will use formula V equals to U plus ET. But for Q, the acceleration happened at 2.5 seconds. 2.5 seconds. And the velocity we already determined which is 9.30. So U is 0 because starting point is 0 plus A we want to find. And the time we only use 2.5 seconds. Okay. So, the A that we get is 9.30 divided by 2.5 seconds. So, your answer is 3.72 ms negative 2. Remember, the acceleration, the acceleration it happened only at this time. After that, they maintain the velocity. So, when we maintain velocity, uniform velocity, so there are no acceleration. Okay, so the C question, they ask you which runner is hit of 6 seconds and how much? Okay, we will using the graph that we already uh, draw in uh, question number A to settle this question. Okay, so what we need to do, because they ask you specific time, 6 seconds. So 6 is around here, 6 is around here for both. Okay, so we know that they ask you to find which runner ahead. So we need to find the distance, lah, displacement. So which S is more? Okay, so for number P here, this is the graph that you already uh, sketched on uh, question number A. So we just find the area under graph for this one. Okay, so my area under graph for P is equals, this is trapezium. So half times with 6, 6. Okay, this one is 4 lah, because 6 minus 2 here, so we get 4. 6 plus 4 times with 9, the maximum speed, so 9.09. .09. So you will get the answer is 45.5 meter. For this, it is SP. Okay, for Q. Okay, so this is uh, the graph that we already sketched in A. So for 6 here, okay, uh, also we will use the area under the graph, so to get the SQ. So half, so this total is 6 plus, so 6 minus 2.5, so you get 3.5 above here. So 3.5 times with 9.30. Alright, so your SQ, you will get here 44.2 meter. Alright, so from there, so who has the highest value? So the one that has highest value is P. P here, P here. Okay, so they can ask you which runner is ahead at 6 seconds, how much? So what we need to do, we need to minus. So as P is ahead by, so we minus this one, 45.5 minus 44.2. So your answer will become 1.2 meters. 1.3 meter. Okay, the last question. They ask you to sketch the graph speed time graph for the runner in the same axis. 
Okay, so what we need to do, we need to draw the axis. So we make sure you put the unit here, eh? no unit, no marks. Okay, so then what we need to do, we put all the detail that we have. We have 0, time 2 second, 2.5 second, the total is 12 second. And then we have the speed. Okay, so we have the maximum speed 9.09, .09. another one is 9.30. Okay, so what happened? 9.09 uh, .09 is belong to P, right? So we uh, 0, 2, 0 to 2 second, it reached 0 0.909 0 .09, and then it's constant. So this is belong to P. Okay, the next one is belongs to Q. So Q here. It reached 2.5 uh, the second, then it will reach at 9.3 ms negative 1. After that, it remains constant. So this is my Q. So both of them stack at 12. Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.